cut. Because they are that's why not. So um get the train guard off and oh golly. Oh that's a bit of a bit too tight. Get the train guard off and um I'll get the back wheel out, chain off, engine out. So, so a couple of things to uh, remember when you're doing, especially old bikes of this vintage, and it's involves your brakes. They're asbestos. So, I've asked the customer to remove the brake shoes off this bike before it comes to me and give all the hubs a, a really good wash because the last thing I want to be doing is contaminating my my shed with um, asbestos residues. So just be just be very aware of that of that hazard. Um, good to see this has got the kind of distance pieces in here, the little little collars. I'm just looking down the throat of the carving while I'm here. It's seen better days. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to salvage it. Trying very hard not to get the Very carefully, very carefully. Yeah, right. And look at that, Miss Green. Leak somewhere. Right, this is chain and sprockets is shot. Yep, there's a joint right there. So we'll have to um, put new chain and sprockets on these. This has had a miss. This is a mismatch of chain. So if you so if you look here as we spin the wheel, see how the the chain is riding out of the of the sprocket. So what causes that is having either changing your sprocket without changing the chain. So your chain your chain can stretch. So the distance between each tooth on your sprocket remains the same. So as your chain stretches, but if you leave it with the old sprocket, it actually wears the side of it out. So that's why you should always change your sprockets and chain out at the same time. That's, a, that's the last thing you want that happening because then the, then the chain can ride out of the end of the sprocket. That is definitely Sprocket in there too. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's a 16, 16 two sprocket in there, but could be something else. Problem is, I think the guard's been squeezed in to fit in between the two mounts, so I have to delicately give it a bit of a squeeze in. See if we can. What I'm trying not to do is have this sort of stuff scrape against the guard and scratch the paint. Right, well that's the back wheel out. So when he's made it, he's actually punched the holes out so there's this little lip on either side that can actually locate, locate into, into here. Wow. And that's our guard, rear guard, so we'll give that a good clean up and, and 
see how it comes up. It needs a bloody good wash first. Oh, oh golly. Oh, shit. Tight. What am I after? getting that as, as quick as we uh, as quick as we thought. So we'll go for the clutch cable and see if we can get that out. Oh that's got some oh. Let's cable off. 